I know you washed it, but you know, you like to do that little trick. Look, right under the lace, no glue, nothing is glued down. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have another hair video and it is on this gorgeous unit right here. Y'all, I did not glue this down. She is plopped on my head, sitting pretty. She is bouncy, she is curly, and she is perfect for the summer. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. We do a lot of makeup, we do hair, nails, a lot of things beauty related with some fitness sprinkled in. So if you like that, you are going to love this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see how I got this hair together, what brand it is, if I didn't show you in the title and the thumbnail already, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're back with Love Me Hair. Y'all know I love this brand. They always give goodies. We got a wig cap. We also got this cute little bag and inside there is an edge brush, never run out of those, a scarf with Love Me Hair, and then this is new. It's a mirror in this cute gold case. So love to get new stuff in my packages. And then of course you have the purple bag. We have all come to know and love. And this is the unit inside. So this is a five by five, it's a short, water wave side part glueless lace wig and in the description it says it's perfect for the summer it is a side part and you see the knots are not bleached it's a closure so like i said five by five on the inside you see the lace you see the cap construction there is an adjustable band that you can take out and it's just clipped in there you have two combs on the side you also have a comb in the back of the lace, a comb in the back of the wig, and then of course your adjustable straps in the back. So standard construction. This is the wig right here, straight out the pack. Y'all already know, we gotta do a little bit of work. The hairline is a little plucked, but it still looks a little dense once you get past that first quarter of an inch or so. So I did like that it seemed like the top was a little thinner in terms of the density of the hair, but we're still gonna do a little work to her just to make the hairline look more realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and part across the front and just start plucking. This does take some time, but I'm not in a rush. You wanna make sure you do it right. You don't wanna over pluck. You don't want to have any bald spots. And I do this in sections. So that's just the first part. And then I part across another small section in the front and I just work in parts like that so that you're not plucking too much of one area and you can see what you're doing as you go. So this just makes it a lot easier. I think this was either the second or third part that I did, but I usually go back at least like three different sections and then I check my progress after each one. So you can see it's starting to look better already and I'm happy with the progress. So I'm gonna just keep working till I get it to look like I want. So this is the hair that I pulled out. It, I didn't think it was gonna be that much, but it definitely needed it. Next, I'm going in with this African Pride Shea Miracle Bouncy Curls Pudding. This is to help keep the curls moisturized and to keep the hair looking wet and juicy and curly. I really wanted this to be effortless and tame. So once I put it on, I wasn't gonna have to do much. And you can see with the hair wet, what the density looks like and the hairline. So loving it so far. Then this Aunt Jackie's Frizz Patrol Curl Mousse. I also put this on the hair just to make sure it doesn't frizz, tame the curls all that good stuff. We want this to be nice and easy and light and just hopefully by the end of this, all we're gonna have to do is throw her on and go. 
So I'm just gonna go through, work the product through the hair with my fingers, then I'm gonna brush it. And I also use this opportunity to check the hairline because when it's wet, you can see it better. But so far, I'm liking how everything is looking and you really just wanna make sure that the product is combed through the hair completely. And this also gives you a chance to tame the curls and to get them how you want. But look at the front of this hairline, y'all. You can see that little bit of work I did, took a little bit of time, took a little bit of effort, but this is going to make it so much better when I put it on my head so I don't have to do a lot of work. So this is how it looks after I have parted it. I kept the part on the same side. It's not curled or curved as much as it was, but I think this is gonna be cute once I get it on my head. All right, so let's get into the styling of this hair. I'm gonna give you all the details in case you skipped through my intro and the unboxing. This is the Love Me Hair 5x5. It's a short water wave side part glueless lace wig. On the website, you can see the picture. It says perfect length for the summer. This one is showing that she is $169.90 right now. You know you can always find a sale. I have a coupon code. I should have a coupon code below to get some money off. This one only comes in a 12 inch length, but I really like how she turned out. Summer, you don't want all that hair on your neck. It's gonna be hot, so perfect little bob. I'm gonna go ahead and get her installed. I would like to try to wear her glueless, but we will see what happens. This is the hair right here. You did see how I styled it. So I think she is really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my wig grip because I always wear this when I wear a wig. And then I'm gonna put some powder in the lace. I did not bleach the knots. And we will see if we will be able to wear her glueless. So I went ahead and I tightened the elastic band. So we're gonna put that around my head first. And I also put the elastic adjustable straps in the back on as tight as they will go. You want this to be tight so it can lay flush against your head. So we got the adjustable band on and now we're gonna pull the wig down in the back and cinch that comb in the back. I am not, ooh, okay. I am not, I forgot what I was gonna <laughs> say that fast. I think I need my powder to be a little bit darker, but we are gonna work on that. Just gonna get her situated. I got her snug, Lord. But that's what you want if you don't want it to move, y'all. This is cute. I might have it a little too tight but let's see you don't want to walk around with your head throbbing y'all this is gorgeous i think my powder's not dark enough but i don't want it to be too dark so let's go ahead and cut this lace off and see if we can let her sit pretty without any glue or spray Y'all see that? Look at that. I'm gonna add a little bit of my bronzer back on because I go heavy with my bronzer. Uh, Y'all know I love to be looking like I've been in the sun all day. So we're gonna get this hairline a little bit darker, but She is coming out cute. Y'all, where is the lace though? This is what I'm talking about. See, this is glueless. This is straight on my head. Ooh. Don't mess up my curls though. What is she tucked? Okay. 
I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get that blended in a little better. This is definitely going to be my summer wig. I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer just because I like my forehead to be a little darker. Can y'all see this? I feel like I'm getting my mirror situated so I can see what I'm looking at. I feel like I can see it a little bit. Let's try to pull it down just a little bit to get her flush. You might have to put a little tiny bit of spray just right here or cut that extra lace off. This looks so good. I haven't sprayed it. It's not even melted. Like this to me feels like a glueless wig and she's cute. She has some bounce to her. Love Me said, we gonna show you how to do glueless and they did. And it's a nice little closure so you don't have to worry about your sides being glued down. Just put her on and go, y'all. Let me show you from the side. And it's almost like it's angled a little bit. Super cute. This is it from the back. It's the other side here, nice little angle. Baby, listen. I might have to go in and bleach the knots on this just to see if it'll make a difference. But just from how this looks right now, like I don't feel like she needs any additional work. And then if I wanted to wet it and kind of make it a little more water wave looking but i like how big this hair is right now so i don't really want to do too much to it i don't know from what i'm seeing in my lights i feel like i can see it but looking at it on camera if you want to do baby hairs and all that you can i'm not a baby hair girl y'all know this so i'm not doing it but this is what we have i think this wig is so gorgeous it's kind of giving me like whitney houston curly sassy i don't know tell me what y'all think in the comments below would you wear this wig you saw all i did was put it on i didn't do anything i could go in let's see i'm gonna go in with a little bit of foundation just a tiny tiny bit on this front i'm really thinking about trying to glue it but we don't need to we don't need to because that already helped this is it tell me what y'all think in the comments would you wear this you know this style is cute y'all can't tell me it's not look how curly and bouncy and just easy super easy thank you so much love me hair for sending me this wig i think it is absolutely beautiful and this is going to be probably one of my favorites to pull out for the summer because I feel like I could wear her anywhere, anytime, easy, no glue. Where's my rat tail? I want to show y'all. I know you watched it, but you know, you like to do that little trick. Look, right under the lace, no glue, nothing is glued down. Another hit. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, let me know what you think. Would you wear this? Think it's cute? All that good stuff. I love hearing from you guys. And if you are new, I hope you decided to join the family. I will see you in my next video. Bye.